Hi guys, it is January 23rd, 2015. I don't know if it's your experience, but it certainly is my experience that not only reading these headlines and seeing that, you know, they're attached to some agenda that mainstream media and our government is promoting, implementing at rather breakneck speed, but virtually on a daily basis now, I see or hear something in my own community that shoots a red flag up in my brain that tells me, okay, what I'm seeing or hearing is attached to Agenda 21 or the Climate Action Plan or getting everybody vaccinated or developing these little critters who are good little global citizens for the new world order. It is remarkable how rapid these agendas are being rolled out now and we're going to see a rapidity that's going to be head spinning this year with every agenda and this one this video is about these vaccines and the push to get everybody vaccinated and it will be mandated soon I had a conversation with a friend of mine who's a teacher and she's receiving all of these emails from the school nurse about children contracting viruses in other schools. But to spare you the details of the conversation, I essentially said this is about getting all children mandated, which schools, I mean, getting um, children vaccinated, which schools are now doing, and the teachers. It will be mandated soon that teachers will have to get at least the flu shot. I have no doubt about that. I may be wrong, I hope I am, but that's coming down the pike. They've already done it with hospitals and nurses have to get vac vaccinated. If they don't, they lose their job. And despite the, the mountains of evidence that these vaccines are destroying people's health, weakening their immune systems, children who receive these vaccines soon come down with seizures, children are dying after getting these vaccines. Even mainstream media reports it, but they're still pushing them. So this Christie here, Christie, you should really be ashamed of yourself. As a journalist, you should know how dangerous these vaccines are, but you're pushing to get children vaccinated. So this outbreak of measles, measles, which had been eliminated in the United States, now is back. Now it's back. That should be beg questions. Why is it back? But who are they targeting now? Those who haven't been immunized. The outbreak occurred at Disneyland, California's Disneyland. And this Disney employee actually said, oh, it's scary to think the happiest place on earth is infected with measles. The happiest place on earth is Disneyland? Clearly that employee is brainwashed. Disney is rather evil. <sighs> 75 cases of measles, now it spans to six states. We have, we have mystery illnesses, outbreaks of viruses, and mainstream media actually reports. And listen to this. If you haven't seen these reports, which I'm sure many of you have, how many times have we read in some mainstream media publication that there's an outbreak of a virus and the outbreak is actually in the vaccinated population, but they blame the outbreak on those who haven't been vaccinated. And this happens, up, well, all the reports that I've read, it's all, always about children. There's an outbreak in a virus in the vaccinated children. They blame the children who haven't been vaccinated and don't even have the virus but they blame them for the outbreak. But don't you think it should trigger in an adult mind that, well, how is it that the virus is in the vaccinated population? Because wasn't that vaccine supposed to prevent the virus? And how is it that the unvaccinated children who haven't even got the virus spread the virus? The lunacy, idiocy, of mainstream media reporting is enough to wake up every adult American. And if it doesn't, there's something wrong with that brain. 
it and you know what <laughs> children are the victims of this that is what is really very very upsetting so yes mainstream media still pushing these vaccinations these these vaccines despite the fact that there is mountains of evidence that they are dangerous many ineffective children receiving them coming down with seizures dying I mean it is unbelievable that it continues but here we have Washington the state of Washington has mandated that all foster parent families get a flu shot even their young children even though flu vaccines are both dangerous and largely ineffective and I know that you know all this but if anybody comes across this video and doesn't know please click on the link below it'll bring you to this article and you can click on the blue lettering ineffective dangerous and you will learn why these flu vaccines are quite dangerous but it's not only about getting people vaccinated certainly not with CPS there are many agendas that unfold in even just as you read one news story you can you know it, it's like a game where you're trying to figure out all right what are the agendas here um, CPS is a for-profit agency that's why they're stealing so many children stealing them based on false accusations or no accusations at all completely innocent families are being torn apart living a nightmare as I speak with CPS stealing their children and why because for every child that CPS gets they get more money but it's not only CPS a financial windfall for the medical profession and pharmaceutical companies they can prescribe drugs and treatments by bypassing parental and insurance approval and that's why we're seeing in the foster uh, children they're being drugged at a higher rate than anybody else than non foster children the children are the victim this is an evil that is taking place with children they need to be protected and that's why I do these videos and that's why I keep saying circulate the information because parents need to know we still have American parents who are clueless about these vaccines and any parent who refuses to engage in adult conversation about how dangerous and ineffective these vaccines are I'm sorry they should not be a parent at all if they're just going with the official lie and bringing their children to get vaccinated and then suddenly their child falls sick dies has seizures that parent needs to be held responsible this is not okay this has been going on forever and I'm not talking about those parents who really have kind of lived an experience where they haven't been reached at all and there are some I'm talking about the parents who refuse who refuse to do any research and just subject their children to these vaccines that are destroying their health and may be fatal tragically fatal it's very upsetting to me the children are the worst victims in our society they need to be protected alright guys please circulate this information and yes it, it's mainstream media never stops and unfortunately I don't think that we have a way to pull any of this back it's just going to roll on out and what is important as it rolls on out is that we reach those people who still are clueless so that they can protect themselves and protect their families and as well that we all protect ourselves from the rollout as best we can alright guys have a great day and hope you're all well